This is Jackson's MMA Series.com with uh, Matt Leva. Uh, Matt, you have a fight coming up here with Mike Chupa on the second. Um, what are your thoughts about this matchup? I think this is a great matchup. This is uh, this is a matchup that people are going to love and I talk about for a lot of years to come. Uh, there's always fights where you know there could be hatred or people dislikes or whatever, and I don't think that's the case here. Um, I think it's going to be one of those fights where you know the two opponents they have mutual respect for each other, and I believe. Uh, you know those make for the best fights. You know we're not going to back down. We're going to push forward, and you know at our weight class, it's going to be pretty fast pace and uh, pretty excited. And um, you have a lot on your plate. You have two little ones. You're completing school. Um, how do you balance all of this out with your training? It's life. You know what I mean. Um, you know, like like saying with the kids and school and everything. Um, you know, you got to get that time in wherever you can. If that takes uh, me waking up at five o'clock in the morning to go do something or you know, be out till midnight still working out, you know, so be it. You just, you just got to get ready for the fight no matter what and, you know, fit life in where you can and just keep, just keep doing what you have to do. And, you know, when, you, when you're in the cage, you have a very domineering, aggressive style. Um, you know, you were in the Marines. Is that you or is that the Marine coming out? Um, you know, that's, that's a good question, actually. Uh, a lot of that is me. And probably what the Marines did was, you know, if I focus that and harness it and allow me to, use it you know to my advantage um, you know being you know overseas and in combat and training and everything I did and the Marines you know that that prepared me for life and the prepared me for the battles uh, when I step in that cage you know there's there's no not an ounce of being afraid there's not nothing that I can't overcome or or anything that I haven't seen before so it, it definitely helps out a lot and it's really prepared me for life and it also seems you like you truly enjoy the process of getting ready for a fight and you enjoy the actual fight I mean there's some fighters who, who fight, you know, for various reasons, but you, you actually enjoy the whole thing, don't you? I do. It's great. It's a great experience. Um, I've always believed that you don't get better, you know, because of your fights. You get better training for fights. You know, fighting Mike Chupa, you know, a guy at this caliber, you know, this level of toughness, you have to train very, very hard for that. And that's where you get better. You excel in that aspect of the game. Uh, people, you come into the cage and win or lose, but... Uh, what really help matters is what you do before the fight. And what do you think about you know fighting here at the Hard Rock in in Albuquerque again? Um, what do you think of this venue and being able to fight at home? Oh, I love it. Uh, the greatest feeling in the world is being here. I have a huge fan base. You know, my people they come out and you know it gets pretty wild in here, and I love it. I feed off that. The energy is amazing. Um, this hotel casino is just you know you can't get better here in Albuquerque. So having the fight here, being a part of this show. Uh, being a card with uh, Joey Vicenor, Hunt Sucker, Rocky Ramirez, you know, it's, I, I couldn't ask for more, you know, a great group of guys. And who, would, who which uh, sponsors would you like to acknowledge? I'd like to thank Max Muscle Rancho, Quick Bonding, and uh, everybody else who's uh, followed me along, my family and friends, all my fans. Thank you guys. Okay, well, we look forward to the second and your matchup. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.